Good morning. So it's Tuesday and it's about 10 24. I've been up for hours. I just didn't get out of bed. I laid there. I lay there like something has to give. I just didn't want to start my morning off the way I usually do. I just laid there and because that's the only time the house is quiet, I took advantage of it and finally meditated, which was really just me deep breathing, clearing my head and praying and just looking at the visuals that I got. Because I feel like um, I need a break. I need a break, not just from people. I need a break from media. I feel like that's distracting me and adding to the negativity in my subconscious. So some, I'm, I'm going to have to switch up my routine. Uh, like no media first thing in the morning. I did not grab my phone. I did just check, look to see if Judah had called because he's out. Like, I mean, I've got kids. So if one of my, if he's out and it's, I knew he was staying out at night, I need to make sure I don't have any messages. But other than that, yeah, I spent like an hour or two doing that. Instead of just getting up and rushing right to immediately start worrying about yesterday's problems, immediately trying to start tackling problems, like no. Because I feel like my life is revolving around managing stress and I can't live that way. Like, it's always problems, problems, issues, issues. No, I need to find a better way to deal with stress because it can't be this. And I'm also going to stop listening to music while I'm at work. I feel like I need to be more present and more grounded. Like, all that negativity and just, I, I, I need some quiet and some stillness. So I'm going to have to find that. I'm going to have to make time and make a space for that because I am going through a lot mentally, like... I don't want my mind to become a prison, you know? It's supposed to be my, my way to heaven. Like, I should be at home in my head. I should be comforted in my mind. And I just need to bring it on down. So we gotta make some changes. That is not mine. That's, Judah gave everybody one of those. I don't use those. I use a loofah. Anyway, yeah, something's gotta change. A lot of things need to change because I'm just not who I used to be and how I used to move is not working for me anymore, so. It is going to be a beautiful, progressive day. It's raining again. I don't know why it's raining again. Need some potatoes for work. I'm gonna add my raw mushrooms to them. I got my paninis today. Slice them up. I kind of want to over salt your potatoes because you know you're going to mix some bland mushrooms in there. Or you can just pre salt your mushrooms. However, you want to do it, let it look. You feel me? Potatoes going to cook the mushrooms real good. And then you got a nice nutritious meal. I'm going to have enough to take for lunch and a week for the kids. They always like to eat my food. Kept it simple today. Half a red onion, some, potato, some um, red potatoes, cremini mushrooms, and mini red peppers. Yeah. As much as I thought I wanted to be alone, um, what is my, my nose looks very shiny. Talking to fire made me feel so much better. Not her telling me I have good content and not worry about getting views. What? <laughs> my kids are never impressed. They don't like anything. I'm so surprised that she said that to me. What? <laughs> That made me feel so good. Baby, I don't need to be by myself. Huh. Raining, raining, raining. Get that dirt up all day. Nobody talks to me here either. There's only one neighbor that's ever talked to me in the whole four months we've been here. Nobody talks to me. Maybe it is me. Shit. Did you see the lightning? 
That is so cool. And this is why Instacart sucked because I did not drive in the rain. My anxiety was bad enough driving so. And it's rained like two weeks straight. So I wouldn't have had to check for two weeks because I'm not driving in the rain. I, I think I drive in the rain now. Like right now I wouldn't mind doing it. Like it's been so long since I drove. Like in this moment I don't feel like I would have anxiety. But that can change in 15 seconds. Like it's crazy how quickly my mood shifts. It's ridiculous. And I would be hard dead set on not doing something one moment and then like 15 minutes later it's a totally different story. And that is just as real to me as my previous feeling. It's so insane. It's crazy being bipolar. Like legit. You're not crazy in a way where people can't trust what you say but pe you're crazy in a way where people can't trust how you feel. It, because it can change. Like they know I have good information but like my behaviors and just the way that I talk to people need to be fixed. I used to feel like such this broken thing, just a broken thing, like glass thrown upon the floor, like a light bulb. You feel me? Like when you throw a light bulb on the floor and all the pieces scatter and it's like shattered. Like there's no putting that back together. Even if you could pick even every shard up and glue it together, it's still cracked throughout. Like that's how I used to feel as a person. I don't feel that way anymore. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't. I don't. I don't know that I care. I just have an idea of how I want my life to be, and I'm not going to stop until it's that. But I also have to teach myself to enjoy the experience along the way, and not just push and push till I get to that point of happiness like your happy should be internal mental every day but that's just not what it is because we live in hell i feel like we live in hell like it's hell here like oh my god but maybe that's not true maybe hell and heaven are just in our mind i don't know but we got a lifetime to figure that shit out and this is what we have my lunch is done so i'm supposed to be at work at three i think but this lady that I need to call from the management company to set up the payment plan so I can get that paper saying I'm in good standing with my evictor so that I can then go forward and talk to these four or five other landlords and get them to rent to me since the eviction is the big issue. Um, she doesn't get into the office till 2 or 3. So I'm going to call her at 2.30 or 3. And then I will go to work. And I hope I can get a good one. I already have a plant in my life. I would take it from anybody. I don't care. And I'm definitely going to sage it because I don't, that's like taking somebody's kid. I'm going to sage that kid. <laughs> <laughs> Refresh this energy. And this energy on to me. Ooh, you saging people's babies. <laughs> God did. <man. laughs> they hand a script to the entire nation. I know. I can't say when it happens. So can I talk about how I tried? We went to that little Asian spot in real life, that K spot or something like that. G spot. Mm -mm. Where is that? The that little Asian place, that uh, Korean spot or something like that. Asian market that you go on Friday. Oh my god, it's called oh shit. Cause you the orders from it on Instagram and I, I actually did a delivery out there on Instacart before. I went down in person. When? With Corinna. Really? That's where I got on the face mask from. That store is amazing. But tell me why. I oh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe you got eaten by that cow. That is crazy. Uh -uh. Oh yeah, I'm definitely about to stop this. F out. I figure out what I'm about to do. What it does. Like why? I'm about to stop this shit. Oh. That's hard. <laughs> out my house and do college to my house. But you're doing too much by doing that. 
Listen, I don't know. I told you you should stay home. Oh, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I keep calling this lady, she is taking forever to answer the phone. I keep calling this lady, but she not calling me lately. If she need to hit up my line. Can you get some blueberries? Oh, like, There's some in the freezer. There's blueberries in the freezer. There were. Yeah, they should be in the freezer. There's strawberries in the freezer. Answer the phone, lady. Hot chocolate. And I'm looking outside and I'm watching these two little kids interact, right? And I see that there's like a whole bullying, I don't fit in, I'm trying to fit in, these are two toxic little shits type situation. And I'm like, bro, if these kids are that toxic, then how toxic are their mamas? How toxic are the households around us? What kind of energy vortex are we living in? And then I realized... Maybe this moving thing doesn't even have anything to do with me. What if God is just trying to place us in a healthier place? And I just need to chill. I, this is not something I need to worry about. Like, there is another place that is already set up for us that we are going to move to. And I just need to align myself with that path by doing exactly what I'm doing. Because it is not given with this worrying all the time. Like, this is not... This whole situation is crazy. So, And yeah. I also called out to stay home with the kids. So, there's that. All right, I called the management company that I owe the money to, and it went so well. Um, she let me explain what happened. We came up with a payment term, and I'm going to drop off some cash to her tomorrow. And in a day or two, she's going to get me a letter stating exactly how much I owe and the terms of, uh, of our repayment. And um, I'll be able to use that to show to other landlords. So my plan is working. I feel very inspired right now. I'm excited. I'm excited. It worked. It's going to be such a relief to get this off my record. Because even if I didn't need this to rent another place, I still want to make it right. Because who wants an eviction on their record? Penny, what if I hadn't been there? The kids are downstairs making broccoli. I could have cooked for them, but they need to show themselves self-love by cooking for themselves. I already shared the food that I made earlier with them. So, yeah. They're cooking, and I'm just waiting for them to come back up here. I'm chilling in their room until they get back. I'm going to go play my little pocket styler game. It is so much fun. All right, I'll talk Community to you. Kit winners and Project Renee. This is so too the newest good, pack, the kits that we voted for, and... Fire wants to go for a walk so we can go talk to the moon, so that's what me, her, and Raj are about to go there. I'm telling them how you want us to go talk to the moon, so that's how what we're about to go do. You're supposed to be looking up the vegan cheese. See if Target has it. She wants macaroni and cheese for um, Independence Day. Not that she wanted it for Independence Day. I just thought I would do it on the 4th of July so I could push off having to do it. She asked me to do it last week, so I was like, I'll do it on 4th of July because we can only have mac and cheese. Like, not that often, just because it's so thick and rich, and it just makes me so tired. And even though we use vegan ingredients, it's still, like, a very heavy dish. So I only make them on special occasions, so I just, the next holiday was 4th of July, so I was just like, oh, I'll just make it for 4th of July. Not like we're celebrating Hi. the 4th of July, because nobody cares. Hey. Sorry, you're looking at me. Hey, Hi. Watch out, this is where that crazy ass bird lives. Yes. Look at it. Beautiful, beautiful moon. I'm gonna get the moon tattered on my left foot and the sign of Jupiter on my right foot. May I always be lucky. She's so beautiful. This full moon is going to be really, really powerful. Well, all full moons are powerful, but I'm looking forward to the next full moon. It's coming up on July 3rd. It's actually going to be a super moon. And we're supposed to get lots of DNA upgrades. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be super cool. She's so beautiful, though. So I'm going to with her for a second. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
I love you, Hathor. I'm back and the kids wanted popcorn, so I made the last of that white kernel popcorn. Mm. And now, what are we doing? You know what I mean? Watch this boring ass show. It ain't boring. It is. I mean, and that. The dwarf. That do pool terrible.